Hey, welcome to another live recording of Not Financial Advice. I'm Tommy Tourette's. Uh, I basically just want to say I'm bullish already. Uh, in the last video, I said I'd be inclined to get bearish if the two hour cloud was confirmed as resistance, uh, which happened here on the 15th. Um, I was pretty bullish most of this time, confidently bullish until because i just liked what i saw on the market it was alt season above 10k and then i got really confidently bullish here a, a rare moment in time you know it's very rare i have my bullish my short-term bullish bias at four out of five but right before this happened it was, was one of those times of course when it got rejected so quickly that changed and my confidence was reduced quite a bit so i was watching the two hour cloud all this time you know, it was amazingly stable right here, right before this dip happened for, for these, uh, like four hours before it started rising right at the end of this candlestick and then failed to find support again. So come to find out in hindsight, that was also the top of the one hour Richimoku cloud that it was finding resistance at all that time. Uh, Anyway, I had a, an idea that this could have been the bottom. And I've been trying to make a video ever since then, basically. Uh, things haven't gone right, but... Anyway, luckily, like, I thought coming down here was really going to suck for me. Uh, because I've been in leverage longs of EOS and XRP since up here. Didn't have stop losses, woke up to this happening. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I just had to add a little bit more margin and luckily both EOS and XRP started rising versus Bitcoin as Bitcoin was falling below 9,700, uh, this morning. So they got a head start with their bullish momentum, which gave me more confidence as Bitcoin was hitting this 382 retracement. Um, so that's a 382 retracement of the drop from 20K down to 3K. So once it gets up to, you know, 11.4, that'll be half of that drop. Once it gets up to 13.3 again, that'll be 61.8% of that drop. The two hour Chimoku clouds important as you, as always, you know, it showed its importance here, you know, before that happened. Um, and uh, on top of being resistance and support, it's also somewhat of a magnet. Uh, as far as the medium term goes, it's a significant magnet for, you know, at least in my experience. Of course, it can be a while before it takes effect. You know, it could, of course, it doesn't mean much. It can tumble down here and eventually be a magnet in the future. But right now, in the short term, as it's starting to look, set up here in the two-hour uh, chart, it's definitely a, a decent target um, in the short term. Perhaps not the best place to sell because it could blast right through it, but. Uh, so anyway, I'll show my tweets from this morning. Because they kind of tell a little story of the day. So first of all. At 95.60 here. I tweeted, time for a big green uh, Bitcoin dildo, please. Uh, here it is. That's a screenshot of that time. You know, this has been on my stream since the 3K bottom. Uh, my medium term bias on my live stream has been conditioned on staying above, at least that level of confidence in my medium term bias, bias has been condi conditioned on staying above 9400 since at some point up here I changed it because I in increased my confidence due to the fact that the market was looking healthy for once, like, you know, with all it's actually having fun. Um, so yeah, this bottom here is fucking perfect so far. I've had four out of five confidence in this bullish move since somewhere around here, around 96.50. 
uh, if it, it reduced down to three out of five briefly a couple times, but yeah, four out of five the vast majority of this time. So, like I said, the last time that was the case was up here before this wick. Now we got this. Um, so other reasons I am very bullish right now. Like I'll scroll down with my tweets here. Like this made me nervous right at the 9,500 bottom. This news about this exchange going insolvent. Uh, but right after that i also tweeted because eos and xrp were mooning versus bitcoin like i mentioned not mooning but they were steadily uh, rising faster much faster than bitcoin and ahead of bitcoin uh so shortly after, after i tweeted that there it was that's where i tweeted somewhere there uh that here's where i mentioned four to five confidence Uh, already mentioned the key support. Okay, so the other main thing here is the last time the two hour MACD. So I've been talking about the significance of the two hour chart for a couple of years, specifically the two hour Jimoku Cloud, but I mean, it applies to the two hour chart in general, too. You know, the, the candlesticks, uh, the MACD. RSI, as far as determining medium-term health and making medium-term predictions, I find the two-hour chart very key. So anyway, the last time the two-hour MACD was down at this level was right at the 6,500 bottom. So, as expected, and you know, I've been anticipating this MACD cross uh, since well before it happened, somewhere around here. Well, actually, since back here. It went lower than expected in the meantime, but um, kind of not really at the same time. Even though I was tweeting about being bullish, potentially being not, well, not bearish at this level throughout this. Because, you know, shortly before the spike, for example, I was pretty confident I tweeted something. Uh, but I also recognized, uh, especially after this was rejected, oh shit, this is becoming a real possibility. Um, and of course here I was worried of that happening because all the coins were dumping like crazy and I hadn't uh, put enough margin <laughs> into those positions yet. But anyway, um... I think that's pretty much everything I planned on saying. I had a really good first take I was happy with that never happens. But uh, I think this was an okay second take, I guess. Oh yeah, one last thing I can think of here was the one day Ichimoku cloud. Uh, it has shown its significance quite a bit. You know, I, I, with every chart it will be significant, of course, but... Um, you know, specifically, one time I tweeted about it and ended up deleting that tweet was here when I ex was uh, a little extra bullish on Bitcoin because I expected alts to dump into it due to being rejected from the top of the, the one day. Uh, anyway, I don't usually delete tweets, but there was a specific reason, tagging the wrong person and whatnot. But, uh, yeah. Right now, it's above it at least all day. This is what it looked like pretty much. Just a, a, a whatever this is, a doji, a green doji. It was most of the day. Uh, something weird happened last night. I don't know if it's going to show it. Yeah, yeah, it's not there anymore. Uh, I'll bring up my tweet that shows it. It's, uh, so there's others oh, D. It was just on top on the top of my live stream at all times. Well, at least when I'm not switching over to this screen. Um, yeah, and it just dropped twenty eight percent in like a flash. So I didn't know what the fuck happened. But you know, seemingly nothing really happened, and you know, 
a half hour later or something, it was back up there. And if you went to the one minute chart, it's like that never happened. But on every other time frame, this was visible. Very weird. All right, that's the end. Good luck. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't I guess I don't really have to say. If it goes below 94.75, eh, a little worried. Uh, in the, for the medium term. In the short term, I'm in the shorter term, I'm worried below like 96.30. But I'm really confident, hopefully right, <laughs> that this is the beginning of something huge right here. Um, have a good day.